On Tuesday, he was showing us how to get the container garden started. Now it's all about the chickens. Bill Gay is live in Elk River with more on creating your own backyard chicken coop. Who do you have there, Dale? He's a cutie. Oh, oh my, Kelly. My heart is <laughs> just melting. So <laughs> adorable. Look at that. Don't you just love spring? Not only spring blooms just around the corner, but spring babies as well. What a little, oh, such a darling. Look at that. Oh, you are so cute. I'm going to pop you back with all your brothers and sisters. Okay, so urban farming, backyard chickens. I guess with the price of eggs these days, it's no wonder that a little bit of urban farming and maybe creating your own backyard chicken coop is so enticing. You mentioned we're up here in Elk River this morning. We are at Spikes and Hools. I should mention they have six locations around the metro that you can kind of get all your farm feed supplies. Joining us this morning is Eric Jonas, the manager up here in Elk River. So, Eric, super easy. I know really nothing about backyard chickens. Yeah. What, what, how does the process start? What, run us through the steps. Yeah, so uh, chicks are a very popular thing this time of year. Like you said, they're a great thing about spring. We know spring's here now. We got our birds. Uh, we have lots of families uh, that come in, and they just kind of, they have an idea of what they want, and we kind of walk them through the different kinds of birds that lay different kinds of eggs. So big eggs, small eggs, uh, brown-colored eggs. We have egg layers that do green eggs, blue eggs, depending on what they're looking for. Excellent. Yeah. So to get stuck, do you need... Do you need one, three, 23? How many chicken or how many chicks do you need? Yeah, so we get that question a lot. Um, if you're really starting out, we do suggest, um, since there are flock birds, to do at least two or three to get them started. Um, if oh, you so have, not many, not many at all. Nope, not many. Um, if you have a family that wants to be fully involved, then we start seeing people getting more like the six or eight of them. Um, those of us who are really into chickens and want to have their own kind of flock, we'll start off getting like the 10 or 15. And we even had customers that come out and buy like 20, 25 at a time because they really want to go all in um, and really have um, the birds either part of their family as pets or working with the egg laying, that kind of thing. Uh, but yeah, if you are very committed, you can go big. I should, we should point out over in this bin, we might not be able to see it, but there's ducks as well. So if you like duck eggs, super flavorful, super yeah. rich, uh, you can get duck eggs as well. So from baby chicks like this, how, how long, how, I mean, when do they start laying, I guess? Uh, the safe expectation is about six months or so. Uh, sometimes you can get them a little bit earlier at the five-month time frame, um, but it does take a while for them to fully mature, get their um, correct feathers, because right now they're um, all covered in their just their fuzz, their down, that kind of thing. Um, that, that was so soft. That was so cute. Yep, um, but their feathers come pretty quick, and then they just kind of grow into it. Okay, I want to just uh, strongly take a look at these eggs here. Just look at all those pretty colors. So if you buy chicks now, you'll start seeing um, eggs in October or thereabouts. I know you mentioned with the pandemic, there was a, a big rush on chickens. Yep. And so it's kind of cycled. They, they slow down a little bit. And then uh, a big rush again on chicks because of the demand. So once you've got, once you picked out your chicks, what's the other bits and pieces that you need or feed to heat lamps kind of thing to keep them yeah. safe and warm? Yeah, so heat lamps, that's a good place to start. Um, as you're looking in the tanks, we do have heat lamps for all of our birds. Um, that helps regulate their temperature. Um, we do sell the bulbs. We sell the lamps at all of our locations. Um, as they grow older, you do um, kind of dial back the heat a little bit. Um, but you start them off getting at about 95 degrees um, around them at all times um, to kind of help them grow into it. Um, and from the actual heat lamps and bulbs, we do have a lot of feed options as well. What are um, they, do they feed differently when they're younger or older, or how does that work? Yeah, so we have um, a lot of our chick starter foods, and we have a couple up here. Um, we have this one right here. Um, it's got a higher percentage um, than it would be for just uh, like a layer when they become an adult. Um, of protein that helps them grow into themselves um, and kind of mature into the right kind of bird. And then we do have the layer versions of all the brands that you see up here um, of crumbles, of pellets. And that is what crumbles look like. So they're broken up so they're small enough for chicks to be able to eat when then they're this tiny. Oh, that makes sense. That makes yeah. Sense. And then we also have things like scratch grain and other supplements when they get a little bit bigger um, to kind of give them some variety, um, kind of give them stu different stuff to look at in their um, either their coops or their tanks, depending on what age they're in. We also have just fun treats for them too, because I wouldn't want to eat the same thing every day all the time. So we have things like our suet squares. We also have, um, this one's called the ball of bug. So just kind of a mash of different protein sources. Um, we also have some calcium supplements too, for when they do become egg layers to help out with strong eggs and kind of supporting them. We also it's have, almost like having a pet, right? Yeah, you mentioned, like, yeah. it, you know, if you come and buy chicks, you mean, you, obviously, you get attached to them. So it, I guess that kind of makes sense that you got treats for. Yeah, uh, chicks aren't just for production. Um, a lot of people will consider them their pets, their family. 
Um, especially if they have a smaller collection, they're going to probably have names for them. Uh, some of my staff actually have their birds come into their house with them sometimes, just kind of hang out with them. Um, so it's not just about the eggs, it's about the actual connection they have with the animal, kind of watching them go from chick to chicken. Um, but yeah, they treat them with all that kind of stuff, like you said, with treats and Perfect. supplements and helping them out. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up. But uh, six stores around the metro, Spikes and Halls, if you want to get into some backyard urban farming, Chicks is a good place to start. I think I'm going to hang, hang out here for a little bit. It's so adorable. <laughs> yeah, it definitely makes you think spring. I love it. Yeah. All right, Dale, thank you. Look at Dale. He just loves those little chicks. <laughs> Dale loves the chicks. <laughs>